This is a patient who's referred after endolaser treatment uh, of a dislocated Zeiss 602 lens failed. Uh, she had the rotisserie phenomena and they uh, tried treating the haptic optic junction with the laser. Now you can see one haptic is disinserted and the other haptic is kinked and the lens flips in and out of view. So here we're going to take her back to the operating room and try to rectify this by taking out the old Zeiss lens and replacing it with a new uh, AR-40 lens. Uh, this is a big eye, it's a 28 millimeter eye, so it makes it a little bit more challenging. The first thing we're gonna do is grab this uh, flange uh, that is still inserted, and we can use this to rotate the lens, grab it and rotate the lens into position uh, where I can uh, secure the haptic optic junction with my uh, micro forceps, uh, so a 25 gauge uh, micro forceps that goes through the trocar. And now I've got the lens securely. I'm going to place a dispersive viscoelastic in to protect the cornea. I need a backstop to use that viscoelastic, otherwise it'll just fall on back the eye. Um, with the lens held in place, I can inject that and start cutting the lens. Now I'm not gonna cut the lens all the way through or the other half of the lens will just swing back out of way. So what I'm gonna do is cut this uh, partially 90% and then snip the uh, haptic so I can now cartwheel this lens uh, out of the eye and not worry about the other half falling back. And uh, what I'll do is once I take this lens out in this fashion, um, I can then go and uh, pick the haptic out and just pull that out on each side. The other haptic is disinserted. I'll pick the tip out and just grab it and uh, pull it out. And so now the lens is completely removed. So now we're injecting our new lens, which is an AR40, uh, which I've had very good success with. Um, I'm no longer using the Zeiss lens for this. Uh, we'll put more viscoelastic in to protect the cornea. Here's my first needle pass. This is a really big eye, so I'm going back about 2.3, 2.4 millimeters from the limbus. The uh, haptic of the AR40 is thicker than the Zeiss 602 haptic, so it has to be guided directly into the tip of the needle. Uh, here I'm making my second needle pass, and I want the needle uh, tunnel long enough so that the uh, haptic is secure in sclera. This is a long eye, and she does have a pretty thin sclera. And uh, as I push the needle in, I can see that there is uh, some vitreous uh, wrapped around the needle here. So what I'm gonna do is keep my needle in position and use my left hand to introduce the uh, vitrector so I can cut that vitreous strand. I use the tip of the needle to push the optic to get the haptic in better position so I can grab it closer to the tip and uh, insert that directly uh, into the uh, TSK needle at the proper angle so that it slides right in without resistance. Uh, you don't have to push it too far, just uh, two millimeters or so. Uh, I now pull both needles out of the eye, rotating the lens and taking the haptics out of the eye uh, with the needles. Uh, now the lens is centered nicely. I can melt my flanges uh, and when I do melt the flanges, I hold about one to two millimeters from the tip and melt into the forceps, so I get a little bit more of a mushroom-shaped flange. And uh, I push the flanges into the scleral tunnels and make sure that the conjunctiva and tenons is freed up and mobile over the flange so it doesn't snag and pull the flange out. Uh, here I leave the infusion on, and I'm going to place uh, LRIs to uh, reduce her uh, astigmatism uh, measured on the cornea prior to surgery. This will improve her uncorrected vision. Uh, we inject uh, myocol to bring the pupil down and place a peripheral iridotomy with the vitrector uh, to prevent reverse pupillary block and remove the trocars. And this uh, completes the case. But I do want to suture this uh, sclerotomy to make sure that there's no uh, leakage, which would lead to hypotony, which I really don't like in these very big eyes. I rotate the suture into sclera, and the case is completed. Day one post-op, she was 20-20 with minimal correction. This is what she looked like at the soot lamp on day one. The lens is well-centered and secure. She's very happy. Thank you for your attention.